The time is upon us. So excited. So I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited. You're not hiding it, though. No, I'm not hiding it. You're so excited. You just I'm can't. Oh, no, you can't hide it. No, you're not. I'll tell you what I'm having to hide. Huge, crushing disappointment. What on? Well, I was looking forward to Pete Davidson becoming yeah. part of the cast. I think he's only in one episode now. He's literally, does well, that, he's literally going to appear and disappear. Do you, think it, do you think it was a professional engagement? No, I really don't. I just saw him in Bodies, Bodies, Bodies at a screening last week. He, he was very funny. He's very funny. He's very talented. He's a very funny man. So what can we look forward to in this? I can't remember where we were at. Where were we at? So where we at? What? what? Oh, now. Oh, God. Jesus. Yes. What's up there? <laughs> right at the end, of course, it was the horrible, horrible revelation that poor Chloe... Ah, my favourite. ...had been cheated on yet again. Yes. And that um, the girl that her partner had cheated on was pregnant. And then, of course, a lot of it's been played out in the press since, but we right. haven't seen the reactions. We only saw early reactions from Chloe. And, of course, since then, she and he have had a child through surrogacy. So they went ahead with that? It, she was oh, already was pregnant. Happening. The surrogate oh, see, was, already, was already, pregnant. already pregnant. Oh, my God. Jesus the Christ. The shit of a man he was wow. is a terrible person. Um, we have got the drama. I mean, I'm curious to know... Kylie was pregnant, and mm. she's now had her son. Right. But in the show, she was pregnant. I'm curious to know what the time lag is because, of course, there was the case of the they man who. Films, no, no, I know, but the man who licks people. He went in. Oh, he was yeah. rushed into hospital, wasn't he? What's his name? With, Travis uh, Parker. He's pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. Or pancreatitis. He was nearly a goner. Yeah, exactly. That wasn't on the show. They'd only just got married. That's right. And she was very pissed off at how they were being portrayed on the show. Oh, we haven't seen their marriage. Oh, we haven't seen the wedding. We haven't seen because the wedding. Because we've seen all of this. Big mistake to have stopped filming because so much has happened. Why didn't they just run and we've on? seen it all on the social media. Wow. Okay. Well, let's check it out. This is the... Oh, Christ. This is the trailer for season two. This is, like, such a dream come true. You have no idea how iconic this is. You just have no idea. Couldn't season two is going to be insanity. Here we come. This is my good side, just to let you guys know. <laughs> I feel like I'm becoming my own woman. But I really want to be my own boss. Going through what I went through was incredibly hard. I just feel that I'm a fish in a fishbowl. It's been such a season of independence. I really feel like I found my personal confidence. Honey, I'm the Marilyn and the Jack. Oh, it's a Marilyn Monroe dress. I should be really happy right now. I just had this new baby, but I cried nonstop for like three weeks. First time trying on my wedding dress. Wow. I'm just so excited for Chloe and Travis. Not Chloe and Travis. No, no. <laughs> Whatever. It starts with a K. You saw all of the backlash on the Variety interview. No one sympathizes with you. I'm mortified. I do understand why people were upset. You got this. We're built for this. Our family grows. First Kylie, now Chloe. It's going to be really exciting, and I am ready. I'm really mad at my sister. Kylie canceled last minute. She always seems to get out of things, and I have to take over. Are you doing the surgery? Don't tell my kids I'm scared. I wish we could have one boring day in this family. <laughs> Same here. Family. That's our superpower. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Don't let anybody tell you any different. You do you, and I'll do me. Oh my god, I love it. Family, that's our superpower. I'm a shallow, vacuous cow. I love it. But you could I love you... the clothes, I love the cars, I love the obscene wealth, I love the fancy restaurants, I love the drama, I love the makeup, I love the freaked out bodies, I love, I love the crazy fingernails. I love I the love latex. It. There's a lot of latex. I love the California. I love it. And nobody will ever make me feel ashamed. Well, no one's going to. Well, be. people try to. Do they? Oh, God, yeah. Why? People, because Why? I'm a feminist, people think, ah. and, because, and because I'm body um, Confidence. acceptance oh. influencer, yeah. they see that as a real clash. Right. But you can be many things. Well, yes, you can. You can be a polymath. Well, I'm not pulling that. Well, can I, I just say, though, things. I wonder whether Travis, is that the name of the guy who licks thingy? I reckon he's going to lick her like a cornetto when they're in Italy. Do you, don't you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Chew, I hope they don't do so much chew the chocolatey bits at the bottom. That's one thing I don't want from this series. I don't want as much as PDA because it does make me feel a bit queasy, especially when they do it when they're eating, especially when they do it in front of their kids. I just, I'm happy for them, really happy for them. It's the parting and of the I buttocks. That's think, the bit that's a bit. It's just yeah, so. It's a bit I mean, every time he picks yeah. her up, he just, parts her buttocks. It's yeah, too much. Absolutely. Um, no reference at all to Pete Davidson no. there, and I think that's important because in the last season trailer there was a reference to Pete Davidson. In yeah. fact, I think there was a reference to him in the teaser for this series. I'm wondering, could, I'm being a cynic, could the whole thing have just been a kind of, you know, a bit of a joke between the two of them just to generate a bit of publicity for this and his film? Well, you asked me that at the beginning, I said no, and I, so three minutes later I still say no. I, I don't think it's trying to put a bit more meat on the, was, on the bones. I think it was just, she was out of a very, a marriage that had become very difficult. Mm. She talks a lot about being terrified of being 40, she's now 41. Right. And I think she probably just wanted a crazy, silly fling. But when, right. you, when you've when you got four kids and you've got someone saying, it's two o'clock, I'll send you, two a.m. in the morning, I'll send you a private jet flight to New York, we'll have some fun. You sit and you think, well, it was really nice having this thing with this guy that was 20 years younger than me, but it's just going to lead to pain and agony, so I'm, I'm out of here. Would you like me to send you a jet and say, let's go to New York for some yeah. mindless fun? Oh, you would? Of course. And can I, I lick you like a cornetto? Mark, stop now. And chew stop. the chocolate bits. Turn it off.